Well, welcome back, everybody, here to the Tim Miles Show as we continue to talk some Colorado State hoops. Brian Roth back with you, the coach Tim Miles, and sophomore Pierce Hornug rejoining us on the program. Pierce coming off a fantastic game uh, on the road this past Saturday up in Laramie. Pierce, thanks for joining us. And I guess first, let's take a look back to that San Diego State game. And, uh, you know, it was a great atmosphere, but you guys came up just, just a bit short. Yeah, it's, uh, it's always frustrating um, to lose any game, but... Uh, you know, it was a fun environment. It was a fun game, and it was it was frustrating, definitely at the end there. How about going up against that front line? Because it not only if it's probably the best front line of the conference, but it's one of the best front lines in the nation. Yeah, um, you know, we just took it as a challenge. Uh, Andy and uh, Frank, they did a great job down low taking it to them, and um, you know, credit those guys because they did a great job. Yeah, you're always undersized when you're going up and banging in the middle, but you always seem to get your hands on loose basketballs. Is that just a mindset? Uh, yeah, I mean, it's, it's effort, positioning, um, you know, knowing where the, where the ball's coming off the rim and, and just going after it. So. Yeah, first career double-double for Pierce Hornung this past Saturday up in Wyoming. And, and Tim, we talked about the bench, but, boy, he was uh, nothing short of just flat-out terrific up in Laramie on Saturday. Well, Pierce has been that way for us for a long time, you know. Uh, he's a guy that when we recruited him, we said, hey, what are you here for? And, and Pierce is a team guy, and he's here to win. And, and he proves that with his play, with the way he practices, with the way he conducts himself. And he's a first-class kid that way, and we really uh, need that. We need that at CSU. And, and his performance, I, I think his greatest performance up at Wyoming was him trying to raise his hand and get uh, the refs to call a foul on him and not Ogade about two different times. And uh, that tells you a lot about Pierce, I think, right there. His ability to go come up with the basketball. Uh, you know, we talk sometimes about recruit guys that just come up with the ball. You know what I mean? Steals, rebounds, whatever it might be. And you find yourself a pretty good player. Pierce epitomizes uh, being a physical player, a team player, a tough-minded player, and he does all those things that, that really uh, fill up a stat sheet without being the star that you need for winning. When you recruited him out of Ralston Valley High School down the Denver area, did, did you see him being the player that he is now? Is that how you recruited him and what you wanted him to be? Well, like most Colorado players, he's a tough-minded guy, and he's a guy that goes out there and, and, uh, and, and can, can do those things. And Pierce is a guy that we really felt was uh, critical to winning. You know, I mean, he's a glue guy, and uh, it, you know, he's almost too much of a team guy. You know, he, he almost uh, is uh, too selfless at times. And, and that can hurt your team too. You know, that can hurt your team too. And that's, if, if he's got a mistake or something he needs to get better at, is looking for himself a little more too on the offensive end, uh, uh, especially. Yeah, how about uh, this season? You do look a little more offensive minded here in the sophomore year. Um, yeah, I mean, uh, we talked about that last off season. Um, you know, be more aggressive offensively. And uh, I definitely try to do that um, when I get the opportunity. So tell us how you end up here at uh, Colorado State. Obviously had a great career down there at uh, Ralston Valley High School. How did you end up here at CSU? What were some of your other options? Uh, I had a couple other options, but um, I was just, uh, just this is where I wanted to go. Um, it worked out really well. Uh, um, I just, you know, the location, you know, I bought into Coach Miles, his, uh, his plan for this place. And, um, Is that yeah, plan, quote, unquote, <laughs> plan, type of thing? His dad was a football player here. Sure. Yep. You know, his, da his grandfather was a great player. His mom's dad was a great player at Marquette, right? Yeah. And uh, wow. pretty cool story that way. Yeah. Uh, it was just a perfect situation, and, um, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm thankful to be here. Uh, it's, uh, couldn't, it couldn't work out any better. Yeah, and, of course, your, your brother's up here, too. It's mm -hmm. always nice to have family around. Well, listen, 16-7 and seven now on the season, and, and as you start getting going in the second half of conference play, kind of give me your outlook. Uh, this basketball team, I know, still has uh, the NC2A tournament on its mind. Yeah, um, we just got to take it one game at a time. We got New Mexico next. Uh, just game plan and, and focus on them and get that win. And then, you know, come the next game, do the same thing. And just yeah. keep doing that throughout the rest what, of the conference. What about New Mexico? Because uh, I know you guys struggled on the interior offensively against uh, Drew Gordon in that front line of the Lobos last time down at the pit. Uh, yeah, they got, a, they got a tough front line with those guys. Uh, you know, just go at them and, and attack them. And, and, you know, that's a game plan. That's, a, that's something that's really worked for us. Uh, San Diego State will work for us. So uh, probably the same game plan come New Mexico. Yeah. Any more uh, threes coming from Pierce Hornung? He shot two at Wyoming. 
Yeah, the first one I liked. I thought it was a good shot. The second one, I about came out there and got him. Uh, but Pierce can shoot threes. Uh, you know, I think right now he's maybe searching for a shot a little bit. We've made some adjustments on it, and it's just a period of change for him, actually, in his whole shot. And, and that's affected him adversely a little bit, I think. And as he gets more comfortable, maybe toward March, uh, we'll be ready to roll. Yeah, but, you know, around the rim, though, I mean, he, he finishes about as well as anybody you have on the team. Well, he's had a couple plays, you know, around the play. Pierce, Pierce uses his pivots, showing the ball, coming to the other, using the net, the other side of the floor, uh, better than almost anybody we've got. He had a, you know, a tip in against UNLV that I thought was one of the more remarkable plays I've seen. He kind of came from the wing, the outside and uh, tipped it in on a reverse layup that was, uh, I mean, you kind of, was you're watching it as a spectator that close, it, it surprised you. He came out of nowhere, and you could see just the spirits of the, of the guys kind of, mm, you know, yeah. uh, fall in uh, UNLV, and that's what you like. Yeah, those are fun ones. Well, hey, it's been a pleasure to watch you all year, and uh, looking forward to the next two years. Thank you. Great Appreciate work it. so far. Okay, here's Hornung, the sophomore here at Colorado State. We'll take a break. We'll switch gears, talk some women's basketball with head coach Kristen Holt and junior Kim Mestock. Stay with us.